And now, another episode of The Antique Geek. Hi, I'm Jeremiah Gungonquin, and I've traveled the globe in search of rare antiquities. Come along as we analyze ancient artifacts and explore the wonderful and mythological powers that they might possess, all the while admiring their beauty and having fun at the same time. Join us as we examine the interesting and the strange antiques that help us to understand foreign cultures. Hi, welcome to our show. We have a very special guest today. Hello. Hi, my name's Pete. Hi, Pete. So, looks like you got a nice 18th century vase here. That's Uh, right. Why don't you tell us how you got it? Well, after I graduated college, I went on a traveling expedition. First to San Francisco, then to Acropolis in Greece. And after that, I went to China, and that's where I met a woman who gave me this vase. That's very nice. That's a wonderful story. Thank you. Um, let's, let's talk about the piece itself. Do you know, do you know much about this piece? Well, it's, it's a vase. It's got blue handles. It's mostly yeah. yellowish brown. Yeah, it feels, it feels very old. It's a very old-feeling vase. It's also, like, warm. It's warm. Yeah, I thought that was a little bit strange about it's the vase. Kind of, kind of hot. Um, what would you say that this, uh, this vase would go for? I was considering maybe yard sailing it for about $200, $300. Well, I'm glad you didn't, because this particular vase is an 18th century Chinese dynasty, Wang Chung, um, said to have mythical powers. Um, and, uh, do you know what this might go for at auction? I have no idea. I don't speak Chinese, and I don't really know anything about it. Uh, try two hundred million dollars. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's a wonderful <laughs> piece. Wow, that's why I'm taking it. Extraordinary piece. Thank, Thank you, Jeremiah. Thank you. This has been the Antique Geek. Mean face. <laughs>